Sorry, I'm still mad and I took it out on you. I can't believe Sam would turn out to be such a jerk. He's always been like this. Alex told me that his ex-girlfriend had cheated on him with Sam. There was a scandal because the girl's parents worked with Sam's dad and they started spilling information on how he wasn't paying taxes. Sam's dad had to pay a huge penalty and he got the whole family sent away. No one knows what happened to them after that. That's horrible. Why are you still friends with him? I'm not. I just want him to pay for what he did, which is why I have a proposal for you. Sam would hate the idea of his ex-girlfriend dating someone else. It would hurt his pride and that's the best revenge we can get on him. I wasn't sure if the fake dating thing would work, but I decided to get on board anyway. This Sam needed a shot of his own medicine, and I was more than happy to give it to him. Alex and I set the wheels in motion when he invited me over for his birthday party a week later. He insisted on buying me an incredible outfit, and the look on Sam's face when he saw me was worth a million bucks. He couldn't take his eyes off me all night. Once I was alone, Sam walked up to me. You know, I wasn't expecting you to make a move on Alex so fast, and I certainly didn't expect you to look like a vision. Why didn't you dress up like that when we were together? Because you had weird eyes. It made me super dizzy just looking at you, and I always thought I might throw up at any time. I didn't want to waste my pretty clothes like that, so I dressed up like a homeless beggar. Happy? Now leave me alone. I'm with Alex. Oh, come on. Alex is nothing compared to me. I'm perfect for you. You know that. I think we should give it another shot. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass. Also, your fly's open. Sam flushed red as I walked away giggling. The next few weeks, Sam followed me around like a puppy. He would go to the library and stare at me for hours till I got the security guards to kick him out. At college, he would wait around with flowers. The plan was working. Sam was anxious and jealous, and I couldn't be happier. Meanwhile, Alex and I hung out every night plotting our next moves. Unlike Sam, Alex was always sweet to me, and I learned that he loved traveling. I went to Italy one time and they gave me a lobster to eat. I ended up breaking my front teeth. <laughs> and if you look closely, you can see. Look, Alex came closer and my heart skipped a beat. He smelled like sand on a rainy day. The more time I spent with him, the more I fell for him. He was kind and we shared our love for romance novels. And the best part was that he always treated me with respect. I can get that. You shouldn't spend so much money on me. You are my girlfriend, fake or not. Anyway, I was thinking, if you want to go to this concert with me, it's my favorite band, and I'd love if you could come too. Is Sam coming? Uh, I guess. Is it important that he comes? Yeah, of course. He needs to be there if we want to make him jealous, duh. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> didn't think of that. Alex smiled and went on his way, and picked me up later that night. As expected, Sam was around too, and he picked front row seats to keep a watch on Alex and me. At the end of the concert, the singer called my name and announced that the next song would be dedicated to me by Alex. I was overwhelmed with emotion and cried. Alex hugged me tightly, and we stood like that, listening to this beautiful song. I totally forgot about Sam. This is perfect, right? He's totally falling for it. Huh? What? Who? Sam. He's looking right in our direction. And suddenly, I saw Sam walking up on stage, and then he took the mic and started singing in the worst voice ever. People gathered around watching, and he just enjoyed the attention. Oh, baby, baby, check out my style. I'm rich and I'm handsome. It's all worthwhile. My moves are smooth. My smile's so bright. Oh, baby, baby. I'm a sad. Ava, my sweet love, come back to me. You're meant for great things, and they all start with me. Sam walked down and took my arm, but Alex held my other side, and I stood between the two of them like a lost lamb waiting to get slaughtered. Let her go. She's my girlfriend. She was mine first. You treated her like trash, and you're making her look like a loser. Enough, guys. Everyone's staring. Maybe we can... Before I could finish, Alex jumped on Sam and punched him hard. Sam fell, and then he got up to punch Alex, and the two of them wrestled like dogs in the mud. Stop it! What is wrong with you? Me? He's the one who started it. You pushed him, Alex! He's hurt! After all this time, you'd still choose this jerk over me? I guess all you care about is money. You're so desperate for love that you'd fall for any guy who walks your way, Ava. Just then, I felt something snap inside me, and I pushed Alex away. All of you are morons! Eat dust and kill each other for all I care! 
I didn't even look back as I walked away. Maybe all this romance stuff was just a bunch of nonsense and good guys just didn't exist. When I came home, I saw my sisters waiting for me. Apparently, the concert was live on TV, and the entire fight between Alex and Sam was telecasted. They asked me how I felt, and I instantly broke down and told them everything. Maybe this is a sign that you need to realize your true value. Boys will come and go, but self-worth will take you places. And if you want a prince, I have a friend who works at Disneyland. I can hook you up. I think I'm done with guys for a while. Over the next few weeks, both Sam and Alex tried to get in touch with me, but I blocked both of them. I concentrated on studies and work and tried to move on, but sometimes I missed Alex a lot. One day, I was at the library when a colleague told me about this literature event in town. He had extra tickets, and since all my favorite authors were attending, I decided to go. But the moment I entered, I saw Sam in a corner. He immediately spotted me and walked over. Ava, you're here. Ugh, oh, my heart can't take this much happiness. What are you doing here? My dad's the organizer. Ava, I only knew how much I loved you after I lost you. Please, come back to me. Not in a million years will I let you destroy Ava's life. I turned around to see Alex staring furiously at Sam. What? What is happening? I'm the one who gave those tickets to your colleague because I knew how much you'd like to be here. You know why? Because I know you. I respect you. And I know I messed up, but please, come back to me. No, come back to me. Will you marry me? I was so overwhelmed with what was happening, I just couldn't think straight and started running away. Sam and Alex started chasing me, trying to get in each other's way. Ava, please stop. You're too athletic for a librarian. I may be a librarian, but I can still outrun a billionaire! Wait up, guys. I want to be loved, too. Okay, I can't do this. This is too much effort. I can get a thousand girls like you. You hear that? Not surprised. But I love you. Not because of any plan, but because of who you are. Prove it by catching me! And when Alex finally caught up to me, he pulled me in his arms and promised to never let go of me. 